Okay, do you want to do the parable of the lost sheep or the walls came tumbling down? Oh, the walls came tumbling down? Let's look at that one. That sounds like fun. The walls came tumbling down. Okay. Here's the walls. This book right here is from night. Oh, wait. We see that scary one. Look. This we one. We see the scary one. Look here. Wait, let's find a scary picture. Look how mad he is. No, not that. Oh, yeah. that... this is a scary one. I see it. Hold on. Do you know that this book right here is from 1967? The other one we just read is from 2017, but this book, these books have been around since the 1960s. Look at that one. I can't see them too good. You're going to have to put it over here. Jack likes the scary look of these two people. Wait, okay. I see them. They look creepy, don't they? Why do they look I don't know. Let's just start. Can we start at the beginning so I can read it so these fine people out here can listen to the story of the wait, walls wait, came wait. tumbling down? Jack wait, wants wait. to look at it by himself. I know. Look, they're about ready to go up the steps. Can I see it? Can I read it to you? I see what happens now. Uh oh, the soldiers are coming. Yep. Soldiers are coming, the soldiers are coming, soldiers are coming. Ooh. Ooh. Look at, oh, look there. Somebody's hiding in the basket. Do you see it? Do you see the eyes peeking out? Yep, I see it now. Well, let's just see. Can I read the story to you? Okay, we'll see what happens. Is the pages sticking together? No, nope, I think it's... Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. Oh, my gosh. These soldiers. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It's amazing, isn't Wait it? Wait to see the next Jack can read a book all by looking at pictures. I like it. They still can't see. How about if I read it to you? How about that? Then they see it. Can I read it to you? No, I don't want to read it. Jack. They're anxiously awaiting the story. A lot of people love this story. Doug, what's that song when the walls came a-tumbling down? Can you sing it? Oh, I can. Do you the remember it? The walls came tumbling down! And the and walls don't tumble down. I can't remember it either. Okay, but... There's actually a song about this. Pat's got it. Oh, yep, the walls came tumbling down. Can I read the book now? Yes. Thank you. Read now the I can one read. That came down. <laughs> well, first we got to read this. The walls came tumbling down. We got to get to the beginning of the story <clears throat> so we understand why the walls came tumbling down. Okay? Hold on. When God has led his people through the desert long years past, he told them of a promised land he'd lead them to at last. Now, River Jordan lay ahead beyond that Canaan land their own to take as soon as God would lead them with his hand. God chose a man named Joshua and gave him this command, over Jordan lead my people to the promised land. So Joshua was supposed to take these people to the promised land. But just across the river wide <laughs> sat high walled Jericho. So Joshua picked out two spies and said to him, them, you go and see how strong the city is. Come back and let us know. Ooh, so these are the two spies that are going to go see how strong the city <laughs> is. For big, strong men live in that town, and they will stand and fight. So you two men must go and spy on Jericho tonight. They're going to see how big the people are. Okay, look at this. The spies reached Jericho by night and quickly sneaked inside the walls to have a look about. But then a soldier cried, who are you strangers over there? And they ran off to hide. So they're hiding over here. Here's that. The stranger is up here and they're hiding off over here. Look at them. Come here, you men. I'll help you hide. They heard a woman call. They raced inside her house, which sat upon the city wall. 
You must hide, you men must hide, the woman said, and Rahab was her name. Up on the roof, I'll hide you there. I'm so glad you came. For all the folks here are afraid. We hear of you, you see. And I know God is on your side. He gives you victory. So God is on these men's side. He's going to give them victory. And this woman helped them. Why did Wait, go back for a second. There's the woman that helped. Wait, let me see that. Why did she come home? They have stuff, they just, that's just, I don't know. Maybe they don't want anyone to see who they are. Just ask them why they're covering up like that. Wait, let me see. See? Her name is Rahab. Is she... We won't get into what Rahab did for a living. <laughs> that's a story for a, another day. She told daddy that story. <laughs> she told daddy that story, silly pap. She covered them with mats of reeds until the soldiers passed, then brought them down and said to them, you'll have to leave here fast. Look, Jack, here they are. She covered them up with mats. Look, there's their little faces sticking out on top of the roof. Look, the soldiers can't see. She covered them with little mats. Here they are. You can see their little faces sticking out, but the soldiers, they can't see. She set a basket on the floor and took a rope, bright red, and tied the basket to it tight. Now get inside, she said. I'll let you down the city wall and leave the rope to show my house. So when your soldiers come, they'll let my family go. Look at that. They're hiding in the basket. Over here is the, her putting them down. They're in that basket right there. So you can see their little eyes in the basket. And right here, you can see the basket being let down the wall. The spies ran back to Joshua and happily cried out, the people are afraid of us. We'll win without a doubt. But others shouted, where's the bridge? Just see that water run. God moved with us, said Joshua, in all things we have done. And he will hold the waters back. We march with morning sun. Look at this, they're ready. Look at the water here. Look here at the water, right there. He's holding the water back. At dawn, the priest marched with the ark, here's the ark, down to the riverside. The Ten Commandments carved on stone were safely held inside. They stopped to pray, then walked right in and held the ark up high. A miracle, the people cried, for Jordan had gone dry. God had moved the water back for them. Right here's the ark, and the water's held back. God had held the water back for them. Across the empty riverbed, the people marched all day. Then Joshua, the general, said, Let us all kneel and pray and thank the Lord for this good land he gave us today. They're all praying right there. Next day, they marched to Jericho and camped about the wall. It's high, it's strong and thick, they said, but God will make it fall. They want this wall, this big thick wall here to fall. Look at that. They want that big thick wall to fall. They're thinking that God's gonna help them make this wall fall. They marched and marched around the walls with seven trumpets playing. The soldier men of Jericho up on the wall were saying, such noise they make, what silly folks, why don't they go away? But they just blew their horns and marched around the wall that day. They were listening to what God told them to do, and other people might think that they're foolish and crazy for listening to God, but they knew. They knew he was with them. For six long days they did the same, then came the seventh day. Today we win, said Joshua. Let's hear your trumpets play. With trumpets loud, the people marched around the walls so high for seven trips, and then they stopped and raised a mighty cry. They went around the walls seven times. Because God Don't told them. Are we tumbling down yet? They're almost. A sound of thunder filled the land and rumbled all around. I think the walls are going to come down. Look, Jack, they're starting to come. As mighty Jericho great walls came tumbling to the ground. The walls are coming tumbling to the ground. Look at this. People were running. Said Joshua, go take the town, but Rahab, 
shall go free. For now she wants Wait, to serve what? the Lord. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, I don't know for sure who this is. I think that's just the people that are leaving. No, he has a sword. I don't know what his name is. I think this is Joshua right here. Let me see. Let's see where I find Joshua at. Yeah, pretty sure that's Joshua right there. He's protecting Rahab. Said Joshua, go take the town, but Rahab shall go free. For now she wants to serve the Lord with all her family. We have a home, the people cried. Gave, God gave us victory. I uh, kind of read that a little bit. I should have toned it down a bit. That's the end. <laughs> Thought there was more. So we have a home, the people cried. God gave us victory. They're all happy now. They have their home. God brought the walls down. The walls of Jericho. <laughs> Bless you. What's that? Well, he wanted the other people to be able to occupy the land. His followers. Okay, Jack. I think that's good enough for right now. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. When are we going to be there? Oh, probably another hour or so. Thank you for joining Jack and I today as we talk about the walls come tumbling down. This story you can find in Joshua chapters 1 through 6. And what can we as adults learn from this today? I found some interesting stuff here that had a different way of looking at the walls and what they represent in the story. And it says here that the story of Jericho represents the walls that are in our hearts that we try to keep God out. God is constantly trying to break down those walls that are in our heart. It also says here that who hasn't constructed walls to keep God at a distance? Some even mock God when they feel that he's circling them. As we're building our little forts to keep God out, he's smiling and waiting for the right moment to smash our impregnable defenses in ways that totally surprise us. So we have to remember to let God into our hearts so those walls are broken down. When we let him into our hearts, this life has so much more meaning to it. This life is so much easier. The battles can be won. The day-to-day -day battles can be won with God's help. We have to remember to trust in him, to listen to what he has to say, to be quiet sometimes, to follow his direction, to trust that with him all things are possible. So let God in your heart, let him break down those walls and just win the battle. I'm with us today and let's bow for a word of prayer. Dear Lord, help us to always listen to your instructions so that we may win the battles of this life. Thank you for always wanting the best for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.